Hello everybody, Benman back here with my new Minecraft Horror Game Summoner Kit win. And this game is probably the craziest game I have ever played in my life. So we spawn in a um in the water. Everyone spawns in the water and you can't get out because the walls are too high. And there's just these random like square pools around the whole map and like the ground's all flat, there's a couple of random uh, generated hills, but if you look on my um, coordinates thing, it says I'm in an ocean biome. Now I know that um, uh, the people at Minecraft MC PvP or whatever try and fix that so that ocean biomes don't spawn, but apparently this one's still in an ocean biome. Alright, on with it. So, um, I'm teaming up with PJ Smith 77 my first Jones today. Um, uh, of course, I'm using the kit summoner. Basically, what that kit does is you get three eggs. When you throw an egg at a mob, it traps it in a spawn egg. So it's it's pretty good kit. Uh, the effect's nice, but today's not the review. Today is just me winning. And as I said before, like this is the craziest game in the world I've ever played, and you guys are gonna find out why in a couple minutes. I'm following Myfrost Jones in this cave. And I get in there, it's kind of a complicated cave, and he comes up to me, but uh, he passed me, and I don't see where he went, so I kind of lose him there. But uh, I'm kind of just standing here, looking where, for where he is, when this guy adopted Tofu in the panda suit, who's actually a boxer, so he has a pretty good chance against me. Um, I'm fighting him, but no one's matched for my awesome PvP, so I get the kill. Um, and if you see right here, when I turn the wood into wooden planks, um, it goes into 32 and 4, so it just shows you how glitched the server is. And I'm about to go out when I randomly get killed. I uh, respawn, but luckily there's some trees. I'm looking in this cave, seeing this guy, Speedysmith11. I plan to go after him, uh, but as you can see, my food bar is down. So I hope he has food and my health is a bit down, but that doesn't really matter. Um, so I come here and I crouch so he doesn't see me. He has his pickaxe out, doesn't expect it. Surprise attack, kill. Uh, turns out he had some bread, which is good, so I eat that. But the bad thing is, if you can see there, Myfrost Jones just died. And PJ Smith died a little before him, so I'm kind of on my own now. Um, I get full iron armor from the cave, and if you saw the flash of the guy on my screen, um, I use these deep, this deep water pit so to my advantage, so he runs by me and doesn't notice me. I come up behind him, but he's actually quite a ways away from me. So I give chase, um, he starts jump sprinting of course. I think he's going to the feast, because it says the feast going to start soon. I'm going to go there too, because I think I have a pretty good chance. But still, I gotta focus on this guy first. OE72, I think his name is, but don't hold me to that. Um, I'm just chasing him down. Quite a long chase here. He stops, uh, pulls out his compass in a few seconds. Right there. Um, fortunately, he turns around, sees me, but I get the first attack off, starts hitting me with my pickaxe, fatal error, and I get the kill. Which is good, because I don't know. That guy was a cultivator, so if you can see in my hotbar, he had a 64 stack of bread. So now I'm set for the whole game, food-wise. So this is the part of the game that makes this the most amazing, craziest, luckiest game, whatever you want to call it, luckiest game I have ever played in my whole Hunger Games career. And these two guys, it's just for fun, and Zacharia666666 are on a team they both have full iron, so I don't stand much chance, and they come to fight me. So, the force field is nearby. Remember that, that the force field is nearby. So, it's just for fun, comes and attacks me, I hit him down some. Unfortunately for them, they hit me back in the pit pool, and for some stupid reason, they don't follow me. Maybe because I'm pretty good at PvP, and they might not stand chance. Now look at this. It's, watch my talk. It's just for fun, runs in the force field, and dies. Then this full diamond guy comes over. The other guy, Zacharia, runs in force field, dies. Then the full diamond guy comes, doesn't pay any attention to me, goes over to the force field, and guess what? He dies too. So now all of the basically big contenders for the feast are dead, and I'm just sitting here in this pool because they died from the force field. 
Now, here's the problem. Feet spawned out of bounds. So, but here's a good thing. I can still pick up the diamond armor and stuff. So I pick that stuff up, kind of stand here, um, put it on, and I don't know how I was able to pick that up, but he died going in the force field. I don't know. It's pretty crazy, but I'm still set for this game. It's only down to me and two other guys, and the feast has not spawned. It's going to spawn out of bounds because the server is so glitched. If you see right there, 15 seconds till the feast spawns, and I'm just going to wait and show you show you where it spawns. All right, with a couple seconds left, I walk back closer and watch watch carefully. You can see the enchantment table on the upraised platform over there, but it's out of bounds. So that basically just secures the win for me because unless I make some stupid mistake because I have full diamond and other people can only get iron. Anyway, back on the story. So I come over to the last two guys. They're not on a team. A full iron guy is trying to climb up this this guy's tower to him. The uh, guy in the tower has no armor and only has a wooden sword, so he's pretty fail. But um, uh, the iron guy decides to come down for some reason. I don't know. Maybe the other guy convinced him to attack me. And I'm pretty sure the iron guy thought that my armor was fake. So... Uh, troll on him, jokes on him, sorry, because it's not fake, it's legit iron diamond armor. So I'm um, kind of just climbing up here, waiting for him to make his first move. Um, he's halfway down the dirt pillar, I see him there. I'm going after him. He starts to build up, but um, it's kind of a dumb moment for him here because he's up there and he comes down and attacks me. I hit him off. He probably has low health, unfortunately into a pool, so I just decided to jump off, take some damage, whatever, it doesn't really matter, I got diamond armor. He sits in the pool, I don't know what the fuck this guy was doing, because he's just sitting in the pool there, like, building this little dirt thing around him. That was pretty stupid, so I decide just to jump in and attack him, so I get the kill eat pretty easily, because of my diamond stuff, and he's done, so it's down to me and... Almas Paris. Anyway, I'm up on the pillar. He's like, no, don't kill me. I'm like, bitch, please, I'm going to kill you. So he decides to jump off, the noob, jumps off into the water. So I decide to follow him. Pretty epic leap of faith there. Um, so, and now the chase is on. Um, he, uh, he's keeping quite a bit ahead of me. He starts going that glitched out ravine, but he doesn't. And watch this. It looks like the pool, the channel, whatever you want to call it, never ends, right? So I hit him back, and it's just the wall didn't spawn, so he turns around, doesn't see it, and I get the win. Craziest win I have ever gotten in my whole life. And I look back on the thing, the guy with the full diamond wasn't a gambler. He was a viper. I don't know how he got it, but it's just crazy. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Um, I'll be back next time with more Minecraft Hunger Games. Uh, Kip Phantom is now released, so I'm going to have a walkthrough on that up soon. Um, more stuff coming soon. Watch my You should watch my Tech Ed walkthrough. I'm going to have some COD Halo hopefully coming soon. And more Minecraft stuff. Um, making a new adventure map, Mines Moria. So you guys should check that out. All right, I will see you next time.